you hear out the window is pop, pop, pop. These motherfuckers is shooting. Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Jay Monet, and I'm coming to you with another freaking video. So if you read the title, that's right, I will be doing a story time of my Airbnb horror experience. Um, hopefully the air conditioner, I got like this loud air conditioner, hopefully the air conditioner like isn't messing up the audio completely. I'm gonna try to like speak a little up, so y'all don't pay the little air conditioner on mine, I decided to just do the story time in my room today and it's kind of hot y'all so like i'm definitely not turning the ear off okay period so we're just about to jump right into the story time so this happened about maybe oh, maybe two months ago two almost three months ago it was in june so yeah two almost three months ago so me my brother and uh my my brother's girlfriend shia and then her sister and her husband and friends sound like a lot of people sister cousin brothers whatever did them so we all decided um to go to baltimore for the weekend like we didn't really have anything planned we just wanted to you know go down there eat some food walk the harbor we didn't have really like have like any like you know plans we just want to turn up whatever so we had to look for airbnb so we we're searching all over for one that has at least two bedrooms because i was rooming with um my brother and his girlfriend and i didn't want to sleep on the sofa couch because like who wants to sleep on the sofa couch not me so i just was like we need something weird that got two bedrooms because i'm not sleeping on the sofa couch so we really couldn't find nothing with like any decent airbnbs like, i don't know what's up with airbnb lately they, they be having some like real corny um selections for the price that they trying to charge okay so we over here we searching we searching we can't find nothing we found something but we wasn't too sure because the living room um i'm gonna probably insert a little few little clips out of airbnb look but the um the living room i didn't really like the living room like that i felt like it looked like the sitting area just looked a little bit suspect okay and now i said the living room looked suspect and i should have just went on my first remind that the living room is suspect okay we're gonna keep it going we'll keep it going so uh you know we study looking for somewhere else before we go with that option at that point i'm like all right i'm about to just chalk it and sleep on the sofa bed even though i really don't want to but it's like we couldn't find nothing for like the where we wanted to stay at like the type of vibes we was on okay um excuse my nose if y'all see them uh i was supposed to go to the nail salon to get these nails taken off my birthday in two weeks y'all sure, my birthday in two weeks i was gonna take these off and you know get a little break from acrylic before i put some back on for my birthday but anyway i'm getting on top i'm getting on top let's get back let's get back so um we wound up we just said we just gonna go with that one so uh we looking at the reviews right and so this should have been red flag number two a lot of the reviews had said that it was in a bit of a rough neighborhood overall the airbnb was nice though and then another another review had said um what it said oh the air like it was in a rough neighborhood like other people had said and that they wouldn't recommend bringing their kids but they would book the airbnb again they just would book it without the kids because it's not really much for them to do and so i'm just like i mean like it's baltimore it's not really much for kids to do anyway so i didn't really think nothing of it so I wound up sending it in a group message. I text Shia and I'm like, um, what I say again? Hold on. So I'm like, um, I'm like, yeah, we stayed in the hood, basically. I just was like, we stayed in the hood. Um, if y'all cool with that, then I mean let's ride. I'm on my way. Let's roll, friends. Like, but just to let you know, we stayed in the hood so we booked the airbnb and everything all cool now on the day comes we're going you know to baltimore it's like it was like a hour and maybe like 50 minutes 50 something minutes or two hours and some change drive i don't really know i was the one driving so i mean it's beyond me um <laughs> so after 
after that, so we driving, we driving there, whatever, we get caught in the rain, all this other stuff. We finally get there, and so now we starving, we trying to figure out places to eat. Now, this is early, this is early COVID when um, they just started allowing people to like dine outside, or they just started allowing people to open up like small businesses and stuff like that. So we really couldn't find anywhere to eat. So we finally found some place. I forgot what it was called, but um, they had like all these wings, all these different types of wings, whatever. I had got mac and cheese. I got mac and cheese egg rolls, and I had got some wings. I forget the flavor of the wing, but anyway, it's not. Y'all might think this is irrelevant, but we just gonna keep it going. So we get our food, whatever case may be. We go to drive to the Airbnb destination. So we drive in and stuff like that. Mind you, where we got our food from, we was like near the harbor or whatever the case may be. Like, I don't know if y'all from Baltimore or y'all ever been from Baltimore, that little area. We was right there first. So now we driving. We driving. We driving. And the neighborhood starts to change. So I'm sitting here like, okay, you know, we still got a little minutes. We still got some minutes to go. Like, you could tell... You could tell we was in the hood because you just seen you seen the projects basically like I don't know if that those are their projects but the they look like Philly projects well old Philly projects because new Philly projects they look nice but it's still the projects either way but it looked like old Philly projects so I already knew we was in the hood so I'm like oh well you in the hood now baby welcome to the hood so we pull up to the Airbnb soon as we pull up soon as we pull up to the airbnb boom it's a whole freaking potty trainer toilet bowl outside of our house like i know y'all know what i'm talking about y'all know them little them little kids the little kids um potty trainer things the little bowl that you put in top and you're supposed to you know dump it out wash it or whatever the case may be them but it wasn't it wasn't no potty trainer in sight there was no potty trainer in sight. Where's the potty trainer? This bowl was sitting in the front of the Airbnb, water and piss in it, with a fat ass cockroach about this big sitting inside of the freaking toilet bowl. Oh, I don't like that. <sighs> that was red flag number three. I should have known that I need to just get the fuck out of here. Grab my shit and dip. Okay, grab my shit and dip. So, um, we unload our cars. Well, actually, we didn't even unload uh, the stuff out of our car. We had actually um, opened up the thing to see how the Airbnb looked. We start um, cleaning. We start cleaning the Airbnb because, you know, I told y'all it was early, you know, corona, early quarantine vibes. And um, so we started disinfecting, you know, the whole entire house. So I'm still downstairs disinfecting the house. And my brother and his girlfriend went upstairs to like, you know, disinfect that part. It was like a three-story house. So, a uh, four-story if you want to include the basement. But I never really include the basement. So, it was a three-story house. Um, and so, they like, yo, yo, Ja. That's what they call me. They be like, yo, Ja. It's a whole stripper pole in here. Now, y'all. I mean, I don't really have anything against stripper poles or whatever it can be. Like, they all fun and dandy. But nowhere in sight, nowhere in the description of the Airbnb and nowhere in the pictures did they show a, a stripper pole. Nowhere. So, alright, I disregard that because that's minor and that's nothing compared to the yarn bowl we seen outside when we pulled up. So, I didn't really pay that no mind. I'm like, ooh, stripper pole, like, you know, it's lit, time to turn up, whatever. So... Now we come back downstairs and we trying to eat our food. Mind you, I'm all hyped to eat. I cannot wait to eat. So we get down there. So I think, I don't know. I think I needed some utensils or something. I needed something. We start looking. One second. We start looking through these cabinets. And the house is fully stopped. The house is fully stopped. Okay? Like, when I say it's fully stocked, they got rice, sugar, Kool-Aid, everything that you need, okay? You ain't got to go nowhere else. You want something? Check the cabinet. It's there. Woo! So. So. We open up the fridge. Still got leftovers in the fridge. Mind you, we there for a weekend. God, the Lord knows how long that food already been in that fridge, and it's still in there. They got leftovers. They got Hennessy bottles. They got pinnacle.
shampoo bottles. They got liquor sitting at the top of the cabinet. Cabinet still, still got liquor in it. Still got liquor in it, y'all. So I'm just so confused as to how y'all renting out an Airbnb and y'all stuff is still in here. Like all y'all stuff is still in here. Like I understand that some sometimes the Airbnbs they be like, oh, you know, the owner is there and you know you have part of the airbnb but it didn't say another day and then say another day entire house to me i've never been in an airbnb where the freaking it had locks on the closet door like somebody was actually living in that freaking house they had locks on the closet door like i've never seen nothing like that in as many airbnbs that i have stayed in so i'm just like wow y'all like this is so ghetto like this is so ghetto first the yarn bowl then the stripper pole. Now y'all got a whole freaking fresh grocer. Y'all got a whole y'all y'all got a whole supermarket in this bitch. <sighs> Take it away. So, you know, after that I felt skeeved out. I didn't want to use no utensils. I didn't want to use nothing in the house because I'm just like, who's to say? You know, they washed it or whatever the case may be. Like, it wasn't even like it wasn't even like the kitchen was in like tip top shape. You know, like, cause I can understand like. Uh -huh. maybe could I understand no I don't think I could understand either way either way um given that the the cabinets was stocked fully stocked you know with your non-perishables and the fridge was stocked with their little leftovers and the rest of the stuff that you know belong in the fridge y'all could at least put the dishes up like it was whole ass dishes in the dish rack like drying like one of them little cheap little not even cheap like a, one of them hand towels hand towels underneath the dry rack like y'all it was just it was it was a mess so um we weren't staying there the other people that we were with they had their own separate airbnb so we were going over there you know bring our drinks over there and we was going to turn up over there so we leave here whatever the case may be they're in like a much nicer airbnb they got a little rooftop yada 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 so this is not the important part like this is where we started to have fun we wasn't worried about what was going on down at the airbnb in freaking west baltimore in in the trenches we wasn't worried about the trenches we wasn't we wasn't we was having fun so um yeah next day we had um a brunch a brunch reservation for like 12 i think at miss shirley's um I don't know if you guys know about that or whatever, but they got some real good food. So check them out if y'all go to Baltimore. If y'all, if you live in Baltimore, you probably already heard of it. But if you go to Baltimore, check it out. Um, Miss Shirley's, their food is good. Uh, I had got the chicken and waffles. The chicken and waffles, they was good. And um, my brother had got the shrimp. No, my brother got chicken and waffles too. My brother girlfriend, Shia, she had got shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits. Yeah, shrimp and grits. She got shrimp and grits. She said it was bomb. So definitely go check them out. Um, and so earlier that day, mind you, I couldn't really sleep at night anyway because I just felt skeeved out. Like I felt people was, was like living here, or I felt like the owner or somebody was gonna come uh, in the middle of the night. I don't know what I thought, but I just was not feeling it, y'all. Like everything skeeved me out, so I really didn't sleep good. So I woke up at like. Once I woke up at like eight something, um, but I didn't start getting ready. I think I did start getting ready, but like I wanted to like do I didn't do my makeup, but I did like some eyebrows and I put my lashes on. But in the midst of me doing that, all you hear out the window is pop, pop, pop. These motherfuckers is shooting. They is shooting. Da -da 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 okay let me let me rewind it back let me rewind it back i heard pop 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 these niggas are shooting okay so i didn't think nothing of it because it really didn't sound it really sound far away it really sound far away so you know i keep it i keep it pushing so i'm like doing my makeup i'm like oh i'm like oh they shooting like i just was like oh they shooting this is what they doing so i just was like all right we just gonna keep it pushing so um my brother girlfriend well shia i'm gonna just stop saying my brother girlfriend shia um she i bought my own rag and towel anytime i travel somewhere i always bring my own rag and towels because sometimes i just don't be feeling it like sometimes people towels and people rags they be looking dingy and no ma'am no ma'am no ham no cheese no sauce nothing none of it so uh she had wanted to go out and buy a rag 
So we left out to go buy the rag. The block blocked off. Yes, y'all. The block is blocked off. You want to know why? Because these motherfuckers were shooting at the corner of the freaking block. <laughs> That's why they decided to bang, bang it out on the corner of our Airbnb. Whew. Y'all, the ghetto. So, I'm like, wow. So, they was really shooting. But let, it, let me mind y'all, yo. Like, when I tell y'all, it really did not sound far. I mean, it really sound far. It really sound far. Like, I thought it was like a few blocks down. Because... When it happened, see, I forget stuff. See, when it happened, I was like, uh, is those gunshots? Like, oh, they shooting. And then moments later, I heard somebody cry. And then moments later after that, the sirens started going off. Like, you know, for the cops. So when we, me and Shia left out and we seen the block was blocked off, we seen that, um, you know, they had the little the little place cards or whatever, I guess, for like the bullets. Um, I don't I don't know what they had it for. Don't get me to start lying because I'm a lie. Um, but yeah, so they had it like placed out or whatever, case maybe block blocked off. So I'm like, oh wow, like I feel unsafe. I don't feel safe. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's one thing, like, okay, so I for Philly, whatever. It's one thing for you to be in your own hood. Like, you know what I mean? It's one thing for you to be in your own hood, but then you in another person's hood where you don't know nobody. And it's just like, eh, do I, eh. No, it's ghetto. I'm sorry. So, fast forward. We go to CVS, and they didn't have no rags. I don't I thought they would have at least sold a loafer or something, but they didn't have any of that. So, we didn't know, like, any other stores to go to. Like, the Walmart was, like half hour out we really didn't feel like that so um my shy is she just winded up just chalking it up and using a rag but when we got home my brother told me that the freaking cops was banging on the freaking door so we went down there we went down the steps and i mean no so he said he went down there and he answered the door and they's over here questioning my brother really questioning him talking about some um what they ask him? Do Jamal live here? Sir, this is a whole Airbnb. We do not know Jamal. And even if we did, we still don't know him. Okay? Like, take that somewhere else. Take it somewhere else. We don't want that here. <laughs> Whatever. We just like, alright, we need to go. Like, because this is this is too much. So, we study getting ready. Because remember, I told y'all, Shy never got ready. So, she had to shower. In the midst of Shy getting ready, all you hear on the door is, Do, 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 do. So we like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Like, we like, no, like, now somebody just trying to run up in the house. So then we hear it again. Do, 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 do. So then now, me and my brother, we go downstairs. We look at the, like, we look out the little, little peephole. It's a UPS worker. For what reason? I don't know why. And then why did you bang in there hard? Number two. Like, you banging like you the cops. I'm confused. You're definitely a UPS worker. Nobody's home. Leave it at the front steps. Like, I'm confused. So... That happened. So after that, we just was like, all right, Shy, you need to hurry it on up so we can go and do go on about our business. So fast forward again, you know, the rest of the day don't matter. When I tell y'all we was only there, like, which I'm glad, we was only there to freaking eat. You know, we didn't even eat there. We was there to just lay our heads. We was there to just lay our heads. But when I tell you, after that shooting at the freaking end of our block, I was scared to freaking sit on the freaking couch in the living room. Like, who's to say a freaking straight bullet won't come and hit me in my freaking head while I'm just sitting on the couch chilling? Huh? Huh? I'll wait. I'll wait. The bullet don't got no name on it now, okay? Anyway. So. Fast forward. And now, this is the last night that we did. This experience, y'all, was... One for the books, I will say. It was one for the books. Because I locked us out. Yup. 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 I locked us out. The last night there locked us out the freaking Airbnb. So now we sitting outside the Airbnb <laughs> calling the owner. <laughs> To let us back inside the apartment. So now we just sitting outside, sitting in the car, chilling. Y'all, it was crazy. It honestly was crazy. Um, the Airbnb, I'm not gonna lie, it was clean. It was clean, alright. But all of that, 
wasn't worth it. It wasn't that much of an Airbnb for like that to be all like that. Like that was like one of the craziest experiences I had ever with Airbnb. It's like I don't know. Like, do they just post listings and then if you want it, you want it? Like, do they not get it expected or you know whatever the case may be? Like, I'm confused. Like, do y'all not have guidelines? for how your airbnb should be or what it should have and have not in there like oh wait that didn't even come out right what it should have in there or not have in there i don't think that sounded right still but we just gonna roll with it so that concludes this airbnb i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you comment as well as subscribe to my channel um and yes so if you guys are enjoying story time let me know i will make plenty more like my life is literally a movie i need to get with netflix lifetime somebody to tell this story because <laughs> baby girl it's too much okay but um stay tuned for the next video and i'll see you guys next time bye